Throwback Thursday on Game Guardian Genesis, featuring your host, Mayor Jared, starts now. Today's game is SimCity 2000. Originally uh, released back in 1994, this edition of SimCity has been re-released several times. Most of the other Sim games were uh, major flops. Uh, the city building series became one of the most popular franchises, like, probably for a while ever. And then, you know, EA. But, uh, anyways, this thus warranted a sequel called SimCity 2000. Anyways, um, the game has no actual true victory goal, but um, some consider the Exodus, where you have to build, I think it's like 50 or 500 or something, of like these uh, tower things, I forget what they're exactly called, but um, to be able to activate the Exodus, which is a reference to another one of their old games, which I think is like Sim Earth, but um, some people count that as uh, the victory. But Anyways, let's get into some facts. Fact number one, SimCity 2000 is the only entry in the series to feature newspapers. Um, the newspapers were used to deliver information on your town, but were replaced by the use of the news ticker in later entries. Um, fact number two, SimCity 2000 introduced underground layers and objects like pipes and subways, along with varying terrain heights, prisons, schools, libraries, museums, marinas, hospitals, and, ah, that's what the towers are called, the arc, arc, okay. This is probably going to come out wrong. Arcologies? Ar A-R-C-O-L-O-G-I-E-S. Whatever those are called. The things that are used for the Exodus. Um, actually, and I think they no longer appear in the series like after this game. But anyways, um, the, the query tool and the separate taxes for like industries, commercial, and residentials were also new to the series. Fact number three. While SimCity 2000 did make it to the uh, N64 and N64 DD, they were only released in Japan. The N64 uh, port featured some additional features, mainly in the form of mini games, a dating game, a TV that was a use of a TV instead of a newspaper, horse races, and monster breeding. So all of them were in like full 3D. A few natural disasters uh, were also included, most of them being uh, giant monster attacks which the players were able to use their own monsters that you were breeding to fight against them. So that's always fun, you know. Oh look, Tokyo is being attacked. Oh wait, let's unleash our Godzilla. That makes sense. Uh, the N64 DD version, also called, uh, was actually called SimCity 64, was, well, um, if you look at a picture of its box art, you'll kind of understand. Like, it actually added a lot of actually valuable features that wouldn't be seen until uh, SimCity 4 in 2003, just three years after the release of uh, SimCity 64, and four years after um, SimCity 3000, if I remember correctly. And just because the box art looks a little weird, and the game does look a little weird, it is actually, honestly, in some ways, actually more superior than the SimCity 2000 that it's based on. Uh, fact number four. In December 2012, the Museum of Modern Art in Manhattan acquired SimCity 2000 to its permanent collection of video games. It's playable as a demo only though, because if you allowed people to play the full game, you would, they would be stuck there for hours trying to build their city and it would be awful. Alrighty, fact number five. SimCity 2000 has a unique ability in which cities created in SimCity 2000 can be loaded into a SimCopter, which is like this game where you're like a police helicopter you're, and you have to go like rescue people, fight, you know, stop crime, chase people, take off fire, stuff like that. Or Streets of SimCity. I'm not 100% sure which that one was, because I owned, actually had SimCopter for a while. Um, Streets of SimCity, uh, to my knowledge, was something along more along the lines of like Sims, like The Sims, and maybe something more like a neighborhood type building thing. I could be wrong on this. I'm not 100% sure. Um, also, Players can then tour the cities they made from their vehicles. Okay, so as I was talking about with SimCopter, you fly around and stuff. Streets of SimCity, it has to be like The Sims. Um, this feature would later inspire SimCity 4 uh, Rush Hour, which allows you to kind of do it from the viewpoint of like cars on the streets or whatever. Also, SimCity 2000 cities could also then be used in uh, SimCity 3000, like through an import feature. Review. I'm personally not that great at the older SimCities, or much of the city builders to start with, but it's also really fun to watch your city burn. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyways, but um, I honestly liked uh, SimCity 3000 a little bit more, just because it's like actually, I don't know, visuals are better, but 
1994 versus 1999, so obviously there's a distant difference, and also some of the features in SimCity 3000, but obviously SimCity 2000 had to come first. But uh, anyways, it still warrants a 6 out of 10. Unless if you can get the game for free, which like I did through uh, Origin when they're giving it out for free, or can get one of the weird versions I mentioned earlier, I would suggest getting SimCity 3000 over it. I would have uh, talked about SimCity 4, but I've never actually played it, so I can't exactly compare the two. Well, anyways, if you have any questions, comments, or just plain gibberish, put it in the comments below, and come back next week for more Throwback Thursday on Game Guardians Genesis. <laughs>